Coltrane was born Anthony Robert Macmillan on 30 March 1950 in Rutherglen, Scotland, the son of Jean Ross Howie, a teacher and pianist, and Ian Baxter Macmillan, a GP who also served as a forensic police surgeon. He had an older sister, Annie, and a younger sister, Jane. Coltrane was the great-grandson of Scottish businessman Thomas W. Howey and the nephew of businessman Forbes Howey. He started his education at Belmont House School in Newton Mearns before moving to Glenarmond College, an independent school in Perthshire. Though he later described his experiences there as deeply unhappy, he played for the rugby first 15, was head of the school's debating society, and won prizes for his art. From Glenarmond, Coltrane went on to Glasgow School of Art, where he was ridiculed for having an accent like Prince Charles, which he quickly disposed of, though not before gaining the nickname Lord Fauntleroy, and thereafter Murray House College of Education, now part of the University of Edinburgh, in Edinburgh, Scotland. Coltrane later called for private schools to be banned and used to be known as Red Robbie, rebelling against his conservative upbringing through involvement with Amnesty International, Greenpeace, the Labour Party, and the campaign for nuclear disarmament. Coltrane moved into acting in his early 20s, taking the stage name Coltrane, in tribute to jazz saxophonist John Coltrane, and working in theatre and comedy. He appeared in the first theatre production of John Burns' The Slab Boys, at the Traverse Theatre in Edinburgh, 1978. His comic skills brought him roles in the comic strip Presents 1982-2012 series. In 1993 he directed and co-wrote the episode, Jealousy, for series 5 as well as the comedy sketch show Al Fresco, 1983-1984. In 1984 he appeared in a Kick Up the 80s, Series 2, and Laugh. I nearly paid my license fee, and is credited as a writer for both. Coltrane moved into roles in films such as Flash Gordon, 1980, Death Watch, 1980, Balam, Gateway to the South, 1981, Scrubbers, 1983, Krull, 1983, The Supergrass, 1985, Defense of the Realm, 1985, Absolute Beginners, 1986, Mona Lisa, 1986, and appeared as Annabelle in The Fruit Machine, 1988. On television, he appeared in The Young Ones, Tutti Frutti, 1987, as Samuel Johnson in Blackadder III, 1987, a role he later reprised in the more serious Boswell and Johnson's Tour of the Western Islands, 1993, LWT's The Robbie Coltrane Special, 1989, which he also co-wrote, and in other stand-up and sketch comedy shows. He played the part of Falstaff in Kenneth Branagh's Henry V, 1989. He co-starred with Eric Idle in Nuns on the Run, 1990, and played the Pope in The Pope Must Die, 1991. He also played a would-be private detective obsessed with Humphrey Bogart in the TV film The Bogey Man, 1992. His roles continued in the 1990s with the TV series Cracker, 1993-1996, returning in 2006 for a one-off special, in which he starred as forensic psychologist Dr. Edward Fitz, Fitzgerald. The role won him three BAFTA awards. Roles in bigger films followed, the James Bond films Goldeneye, 1995, and The World Is Not Enough, 1999, a supporting role in From Hell, 2001, as well as half-giant Rubius Hagrid in the Harry Potter films, 2001-2011. J.K. Rowling, author of the Harry Potter books, had Coltrane at the top of her list to play Hagrid and, when asked whom she would like to see in the role, responded, Robbie Coltrane for Hagrid, in one quick breath. 
Coltrane also presented a number of documentary programs for the British ITV network based around his twin passions for travel and transportation. Coltrane in a Cadillac, 1993, saw him cross North America from Los Angeles to New York City behind the wheel of a 1951 Cadillac Series 62 Coupe convertible, a journey of 3,765 miles, 6,059 kilometers, which he completed in 32 days. In 1997, Coltrane appeared in a series of six programs under the title Coltrane's Planes and Automobiles, in which he extolled the virtues of the steam engine, the diesel engine, the supercharger, the V8 engine, the two-stroke engine, and the jet engine. In these programs he dismantled and rebuilt several engines. He also single-handedly removed the engine from a Trabant car in 23 minutes. In September 2006, Coltrane was voted number 11 in ITV's TV's 50 Greatest Stars and 6th in a poll of 2,000 adults across the UK to find the most famous Scott behind the Loch Ness Monster, Robert Burns, Sean Connery, Robert the Bruce, and William Wallace. In August 2007, Coltrane presented a series for ITV called B Road Britain, in which he travelled from London to Glasgow, stopping in towns and villages along the way. Coltrane married Rona Gemmel on the 11th of December 1999. The couple had two children, son Spencer, B. 1992, and daughter Alice, B. 1998. Coltrane and Gemmel separated in 2003, and later divorced. Coltrane suffered from osteoarthritis in later life. He said he was in constant pain all day in 2016, and from 2019 on he employed a wheelchair. During the campaign for the 2014 Scottish independence referendum, Coltrane voiced his conditional support for independence, stating that, I'd eventually like to see independence, but only an independent Labour Scotland. Coltrane died at Forth Valley Royal Hospital in Larbert on 14 October 2022, after having been in ill health for two years. He was 72.